about 45% of the total electrical energy in the world is consumed by electric motors. I think that underlines the scale and the importance of the work. If you drive your car every day, have you ever calculated how many electric motors in the car you are driving? As an example, it's easily more than 20. All right? The motor for the wiper, for the mirror, for your car seat, also give you the perspective. We know every time we talk about in the world we are living, especially we're going for electrification, meaning you need to, to convert the energy from mechanical to electrical or electrical to mechanical. And that's exactly where the rotating machine will play a role. The technology is driven by inverter, which is the power converter. That means it is, has a building capability to be variable speed, meaning your application doesn't re really require to be have a one operating point. So when the application is required to have a span of operating point, so the application in purpose with the synchronous technology, we can really drive the portfolio of the application from an energy efficiency point of view. Another example, you drive from A to B. You, you don't drive in one single speed, right? You have to stop in the traffic light, you have to accelerate, then you reach a high speed, then you curl down, you wait in the traffic. So when you're really looking for A to B energy efficiency, you look for the full operation cycle. And this is what synchronous technology can bring. Efficiency is also one of the most important parameters. It's really underlying how we believe the motor in large actually can really bring the efficient utilization of the energy around the world.